Hi, I'm Bill, and I'm one of the leaders here at Emmanuel. And uh, I'm looking at Zechariah chapter 8 today, focusing on verses 1 to 8. But, but before I go any further, I'm going to give you four things to remember today. Four things that will help you during the stressful part of today. First one, who gives, who gives, who gives baby sharks their presents on Christmas Day? The answer is Santa Jaws. Another question, how many presents can Santa fit in an empty sack? Of course, the answer is there's only one because once there's one present in it, it's no longer an empty sack. Third one, what's the best Christmas present to give someone who has everything? The answer is a burglar alarm. And finally, fourth one, one, rain, one snowman said to the other snowman, I don't know about you, but I can smell carrots. So there are four things. You may want to pull them out. You may want to quote them at an appropriate part of today. Or you may just want to remember them and have a small chuckle to yourself through the stress of today. Um, but back to Zachariah. And uh, earlier this week, we heard him encouraging the people to find their way back to God. And we also heard him encouraging the leaders today. And today, he's going to be in, we're going to be hearing him encouraging everybody by sharing five things that are on God's heart. So I'm going to read the passage. Uh, listen out for the five things that are on God's heart for you and for the people there. Chapter 8, verse 1. And the word of the Lord of hosts came, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I am jealous for Zion with great jealousy. I am jealous for her with great wrath. Thus says the Lord, I have returned to Zion and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem shall be called the faithful city, the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Thus says the Lord of hosts, old men and old women shall again sit in the streets of Jerusalem, each with staff in his hand because of his great age. And the streets of the city will be full of boys and girls playing in its streets. Thus says the Lord of hosts, if it is too marvellous in the sight of the remnant of this people in those days, should it also be marvellous in my sight, declares the Lord of hosts. Thus says the Lord of hosts, behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country. I will bring them to dwell in the middle of Jerusalem and they shall be my people and I will be their God in faithfulness and in righteousness. Well, some great promises there, but I've just picked out five points from these verses. The Lord says, my passionate love for Israel has not diminished. And I want you to know there's God's passionate love for his people. And that means you and that means me as well. He's passionate about us. He's full of love for us. Secondly, the Lord says, Jerusalem will be restored. Now this Christmas, you're going to be seeing a lot of things that will get thrown away. But actually, God doesn't throw people away. He restores them. He restores you. He restores me as well. I'm very grateful for that. Third thing, the Lord says Jerusalem will be a thriving, safe place. God wants to bring you into a safe place. A, the place where he is. Fourth thing, even if this is too amazing for you, is it too hard for me? What looks impossible to us is not impossible for God. Do remember that. All things are possible. All things are possible. And fifthly, the Lord says, Israel will be gathered, but far more than the few who have returned so far. And for us, it's to understand that God's doing, going to do some big stuff and some amazing stuff. And we're just so privileged to see it in our lifetime. Let me pray for these things. I thank you that as we celebrate your birth, Jesus, we can also remember your encouragements. You came because of your passionate love for us. You came to restore us, not to throw us away. You came to bring us to a thriving, safe place. You came because we didn't believe your messengers. You came to gather many, many people. Thank you, Jesus, that you came. Amen.